Hi guys, um, excuse my hair, I've just washed it so I'm just waiting for it to dry because I don't like to use heat on my hair. Uh, but today I'm going to be uh, creating this look for you here. Because mm, I'm going out for like the first time in like a year, I'm not even joking. Um, so I thought I would do like a get ready with me. Uh, I'm also going to show you the dress and everything I'm wearing just in case anyone's interested. Because last time people were like, oh my god, you should change your outfit. And to be fair, I do dress really nicely. So, you know, don't want you to miss out on that. So let me zoom you in. So yeah, this is the look. Mm -mm -mm. Alright you guys, keep watching. Here is my a beautiful bare face. I've already moisturised and I put some number seven early defence eye cream, although I feel like I need the further defence. And I should put some primer on. I think I'm going to be using the NYX Angel Veil Primer again. Quite like it. Don't know what it is. Just throw it out on me. I get primaries on and now today I'm going to be trying out doing a first impressions on this Kat Von D Locket foundation. How do I open this? This looks like way too fancy for me. Like I feel like I don't even deserve this. Let me shake it well. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Just in case. <laughs> uh, 20 minutes later. Um, so this thing, uh, the fancy thing, that's just... Um, like a protective lid for the actual pump thing, so we should be all right now. And again, so you get like three pumps. This actually looks like it could match me. Um, it said that it was a neutral undertone, but it looks a little pinky to me. Although my skin looks all right. Oh my god, this looks so pale. I'm so happy. I mean, that was that's a good thing that it looks pale. Um, I got the lightest shade. Because everything is always too dark on me. Okay, first impression. Like, first, first impression. I think it looks shit. I'm really not happy. Um, it just, like, really settled in all of my pores and, like, skin imperfections. And I have loads of those. So that's weird. I expected so much more from this foundation. Maybe once I, like, blend it out and set it and everything, it's going to look better. But, like, I look like Santa right now. <laughs> but, like... I don't know how much you want to see my skin up close and personal, but uh, but it just like makes everything on my skin look even worse. Oh, uh, come on, Cat One D, don't do this to me. Okay, well, you know, like my my, my concealer is actually darker than my foundation. But you know what, I'm happy that it's light because I can mix it with other foundations. Um, I'm just gonna hope this is gonna look all right. I mean, I'm going out for like the first time in like, okay, I haven't gone out clubbing since Halloween, like a year, like not last year, but the year before then. So, you know, I haven't gone out clubbing in a really long time. Now let me set this and I'm gonna be setting it with this H&M Metafine powder. I really tried uh, using the number seven loose powder and the H&M loose powder under my eyes but it just doesn't work that well. I'm gonna go into my good old trusty H&M eyeshadow in the shade Grage of Innocence and sculpt out a much cheekbones. I ain't fooling nobody. So I sprayed my face with some setting spray just because then my highlighter will go in doing doing uh more vibrant just give it like a little bit of time to set just so that it doesn't come out patchy and then i'm gonna go in let me see how pretty that looks can you see i might even think it looks better in real life hmm. i like a lot of highlighter Oh yeah, and I'm using my H&M um, face palette. What's it called? It's got something vibrant, radiant. Radiant face palette. But I'm gonna wear one highlighter, like a commoner. I'm gonna pile on the Makeup Revolution one in the shade Golden Light. It is very like goldy one. Now down my nose. Hmm, look at it, nose. And. 
Again, my, the top of my moustache. Look how radiant I look. Oh my god. So because I want to be like 100% sure that my makeup's going to stay on really well today, I'm going to put some eye primer through my brows. Brows. Brows is the area around your eyes and your brows. No, just my brows for now. And I'm just going to brush it through all the way to the ends. And then just the, the like first like one third I'm gonna put some concealer on there um, because I'm trying to cover up uh, my dog hairs so first I go down then I go up and I repeat until I think it looks beautiful So once again I'm starting out, I'm using the sleek palette again it's a little she palette and I'm gonna start filling my brows in with the yellow shade And then for the last colour, I'm going into my Trista Zay palette and I'm using this H&M eyeshadow in the shade Mediterranean, which is discontinued so don't even bother. This looks pretty good. This looks pretty fucking damn good. You're cute. Hey there, beautiful. I just had a quick wardrobe change because I wanted to try on the dress I was going to wear tonight and I didn't want to... I start doing my makeup and then like find out it doesn't fit me or something so I want to make sure I'm gonna look good before I match my makeup to the dress so I'll be wearing this uh, blue velour dress and I'm currently putting the NYX Proof It primer on I wear it all the time so you know probably know and but the thing is, it doesn't do, like, it's not as magical as I expected it to be. But it definitely does more than when I don't wear a primer at all. Okay, I just need, like, a transition colour. I'm going to go into my Smashbox, Smashbox, Smashbox Double Exposure Palette. And I'm just going to use the Skin Tone colour to just set the primer in my crease. This palette is not quality free and not vegan. I bought it ages, ages ago. And to be honest, I don't even use it, okay? It's shit. Literally the only two shades. Okay, so I've used their like really shimmer shades, but they're not like unique shades. And then there's like a nice like cool tone, um, like a crease color. And then there's like a nice crease color, like a cool tone one, but it's really not worth the money. And it's tested on animals. Uh, I'm obviously not just gonna chug it. I'm just gonna carry on using it. Let's get started. I'm taking uh, this blue eyeshadow, which is from H&M as well, but it is discontinued as well. Um, it was called Blueprint, but we also have colours like Peacock, which is actually on sale online right now. So, you know, you can get it there. But like any blue eyeshadow will do. I just really like the H&M ones because they're really pigmented. And I'm going to start slowly, slowly, uh, building up the colour in my crease. I'm not going to worry too much about putting in the inner corners because that's where I'm putting the coral colour. Okay. Now. Hinny. Now we're going to start putting it on the lower lash line. But be careful, oh my god, blue is such a bitch to get rid of, like when you put it somewhere where you don't want it. Because it just looks like green when it mixes with like foundation or concealer or something. Like like somebody punched me, that is exactly the look I was going for. Okay, I hope this is a better angle. So what I'm just doing is I always add a little bit more in the crease and then blend it out. And I'm just constantly doing that. Okay, now for like this eyelid here, I'm gonna put on a little bit of this H&M eye crayon, which is from the Global Fusion Limited Edition. And oh my god, this is so beautiful! Look at this, guys. But I don't want to put on too much because this thing can crease like real bad. Um. Um, so I'm just gonna like 
very gently blend this out with the brush just so that we get the beautiful like shimmery sheen and I'm just, just gonna slightly like blend it in you know like around the edges of the eye crayon I'm just gonna blend it in a little bit and also set it just like a little bit pat on pat on I don't know why I'm whispering like so that Asha doesn't know like, pat on a little bit of the blue colour so that is the eye look before the glitter. I know it's nothing complicated, nothing crazy. Oh, let's see the glitter. I would normally just use uh, my good old trusty NYX glitter glue, but let me just show it again. But because my eyes are so watery, I think I'm gonna have to use eyelash glue. Okay, so I'm taking the eyelash glue and I'm just gonna like dot it around here. And I want it to go quite far up and down, so. You know, like all the way here, actually. Let me a uh, double dip. And yeah, make sure you don't smear it because this can um, remove your foundation or eyeshadow from underneath. So just, you know, a gently pat, uh, which is what I'm gonna do with my finger now. And this glitter is from eBay. If I find where I got it, I'll post a link down below. And that is where I get most of my, like this lovely chunky glitter. Now let me do the other eye and I'll be so, right back. So that's the eyes done. And now I think I'm just gonna do like a really nice big flick and then just apply some lashes. For my eyeliner, because I need a waterproof eyeliner, I use the Kiko Definition of Waterproof Eyeliner. Um, Kiko is cruelty free and in my last order, I double checked everything that I was ordering that it was uh, vegan. Um, and I think I was going to order this again, but then I didn't for some reason. I think this was vegan as well. Double check because I had this for a while again. But yeah, just double check that it is. But it's definitely quality free. And so I'm just going to do like, ooh. So I'm just going to do a wing. But just, um, you know, it's a wonderful waterproof liner. It really stays on really well, even if you have watery eyes. Um, but just be careful when you're applying it. It is kind of, I don't want to say gloopy, but it's very... Thick. So I'm just going to put on my other eyeliner, some mascara, I'm going to be using the Kiko Waterproof Mascara again, and some lashes, I don't know what lashes going to be wearing yet, so it'll be a surprise for all of us. Okay, so I put some lashes on, I ended up going for these, okay it's empty now, I, I ended up going for these um really big lashes that I actually got off eBay. I'll put a link down below again. I love these. They have like a little bit of blue in them. Um so you know they're gonna go with the look. And I also popped on some like peachy lipstick. This is the I think this brand's called Key Best. And again it's from eBay. Like, a lot of the stuff I use today is from eBay because I used to have this, like, eBay obsession. Literally bought so much stuff from there. Um, so, again, if I find the link to it, I'll try to link it down below. I really like these lipsticks, actually, and they're so cheap. Oh, my God, my teeth look so yellow with this. Oh, my God, this is not how yellow my teeth are. Ugh! So, that's the eye look done, and now I'm just going to, you know, pop on the dress and show you what it looks like all together. you guys I'm about to leave just wanted to show everyone with my hair you can't really see the glitter that well but like all of my hair is covered in glitter but like really fine glitter um so yeah going out probably just gonna go for like 10 minutes I'm just gonna go and eat loads of chips but that's the best part <laughs>